Hi guys, um, we're back from part two. And basically, Ellie's waving. Say hi, Ellie. Hiya. Uh, basically, we've talked about festivals right now. And um, as you know, it's March, it's getting close to festival season. Uh, v Festival, Glastonbury, Leeds Festival, well, Leeds and Reading Festival. Uh, Creamsfield, which by the way has an amazing lineup this year. We've got Swedish House Mafia, Tiesto. Uh, it's changed the taste of some. They probably are, they're all over the shop. I think they're on uh, about there. Rumours for the Leeds Festival lineup is uh, Muse, uh, The Strokes, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, yeah. which would be good to go see. Um, what else is there? Well, I want to talk about, like, we, me and Elle have been to two Leeds festivals now. Like, together we both went. All thanks to Elle, by the way, so cheers, Elle. But what we want to talk about is, like, you look at the lineups of each festival. Is it genuinely the lineup that you you go and pay to see? I know festivals on their own, like, Leeds Fest, you'll, you'll buy a ticket solely for the... Fuck me, that was a lot of police, wasn't it? <laughs> They're after us. We're that was boys. that was like three cars of police. That was absolutely terrifying. Um, anyway, with Leeds Fest, it's normally the lineup because yeah, it's good atmosphere. But unlike places like Glastonbury, where there's a shite load of stuff to do, is it mostly the lineup for Glastonbury? Because the lineup for Glastonbury is um, Coldplay, Beyonce, and I can't remember the third band because I'm an idiot and I wish I could remember it, but I can't, and I'm really sorry. But you'll know better than me. If you're gonna go to Glastonbury or not, like why 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 do you choose festivals? Why did you choose El? What's your Well first of all I'm gonna agree with um, something. What the what? hell are you on about? <laughs> well I just like to know because a lot of festivals, especially Glastonbury, put on more stuff than just music. Oh, so you're asking if they go for the music or they yeah, go do for they the go, experience? Do they, do they go solely for the music or do they pay money to get the experience? Well, I know my mate loves Glastonbury, but... I was going to say, I mean, when we went first time, where the first initial thing, I don't know if you... When you first, when you first have a festival, when you lose your festival virginity, uh, what you do is you, you go over the hill, you put your tent down, you find somewhere to tent along with everyone else, and all you do is you see an awe, and an, I mean an absolute awe, it takes your breath away, a sea of tents, thousands and thousands of tents, and you just like... On our Facebook, on our Facebooks, and um, you're just like, whoa. And you'll see the pictures of me, um, me and my friends, and it's like... There is one of us ha uh, ha with our hands on a big massive inflatable cock, but the guy... Oh, well, we all are, aren't we? We've all got that guy, because he did it for a day. Yeah. Although, but that's what I mean, do you pay him? to get that? Oh, no, I mean, um... I mean, you go for the crazy wackiness. I mean, I remember I was the next two guys who spilt cider on me, and uh, one of them turned around to me and went, Oh, would you want some pills, man? And they were doing like cocaine off pennies. Who does cocaine off pennies? Hobos don't even do cocaine off pennies. I was like, No, thank you. Um, if you do drugs, I'm not judging you, but you know, they're not my cup of tea. Um, whereas, uh, later on, you know, going to go see Prodigy in uh, Leeds 2009. They were amazing, by the way. Uh, and some random drunk woman bit me on my shoulder and, you know, had a massive bruise and my friend smacked her to smack my bitch up ironically. Uh, Elliot got hit and zebra hat some, but then he hit a woman randomly. That was... Yeah, that's not shit what happened. I want to talk about, you know. No, he's a bit embarrassed. But there's a lot of people that will watch my videos who will have been to Leeds Fest. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, Leeds Festival, I mean, obviously there's obviously the competition between Leeds and Reading. I mean, which one's better? Obviously it's Leeds. I mean, come on. Reading flooded last year and... Obviously, Guns N' Roses were a bit shitter at Reading last year. Um, I was going to say, 2010 Leeds Festival wasn't as good as 2009. Uh, I remember I nearly got crushed at Pendulum, although Mumford & Sons, which is a favourite band of mine, they were, uh, I've got to say, extraordinarily there good. There were a load of people that I know who went to see them. I actually nearly came in my pants when that came on. In fact, I think I did. Els, Els... <laughs> <laughs> We've just got... Do you want to talk about it? What? That your restaurant's reopened. Yeah, it has. Is it under new ownership? No. We still own it. Do you? Yeah, we sacked the guy. Oh, cool. Right, anyway, festivals. Look, Sorry, that was just like... like got a new bar and everything. Sorry, guys, a bit diverted there. Elliot's yeah. like... That was just crazy. He's easily distracted, which is what happens when I do his mum. She's just like, oh, a penny. I'm so, like, okay. everybody, I'd like to ask you, um, what was your... If you've been to a festival, or even if you haven't, like, you go to gigs or anything, what's your favourite, like, act that you've seen? Like, that is a or, good shot, by the way. Or, put it to me, you can see the lights behind me. Yeah. That's or, cool. what's your favourite moment? So, like, drunken behaviour, setting a tent on fire, I don't know. Some crazy shit like that. Finding a raccoon in your ass. What is your... Ha <laughs> Raccoon in your ass. That's pretty funny, actually. Um, I'm just wondering what you... 
Okay, he's definitely gonna go stab someone. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's a bit creepy, nice. is that guy. Sorry, we're in Leeds, and I love going out in Leeds, because uh, like Leeds Festival, you go into Leeds and you find out weird things. We were once uh, in a noodle bar, and this drunk guy comes in and he goes, Have you ever seen the film Lost Boys? I don't know why he sounded like he was from, like, you know, Texas, but... Yeah, West Country. I don't know, West There's Country. There's a thing there called Metropolis, crazy. and Magnetic Man and Rusko are playing, and I'm trying to... Hi, everybody. Because I know you, you properly think that it's on me, but you can't see me properly. But yeah, they're on, and I really liked. Me and Elle have a, had a very good moment, which I still class as one of my that's a brilliant moment. best moments in my entire life. Every time I hear the song, where shall I tell the story? Yeah. When we all saw, we went, we we spent the whole afternoon in the dance tent, and then. We all went to see Paramore. I didn't really give a crap because Paramore aren't my kind of thing, and neither did Elle. But you they all hear went. her. She was a bit poor, but and I, I sort of stayed on the outside of the crowd because I wanted to go see Magnetic Man and Rusko. So oh. I, I went back a bit before and listened to a few bands, and then Magnetic Man came on, and their most famous song "I Need Air" was about to start, and Mr. Elliot here came out of nowhere and tapped me on the back, and literally tapped me on the back. I turned, gave him a hug. The song started and we spent, God, it must have been three hours in yeah, that time. we did. And we just had the best time. I genuinely had the best time. It was pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It was it was an amazing time, that. Um, but what was your favourite experience, other than that at Leeds um, Fest? Oh, my favourite experience at Leeds Festival. Now you are asking. Uh, Chinese man. Sorry, okay, we're just staring at the Chinese man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I bet that's hilarious on the video, but I'm just like... Yeah, pretty much. Uh, ooh, I reckon my favourite moment was either Mumford and Sons, but I wish you were there, I really did. I don't know where you were at the time. I or, was Sam and Louise. Yeah, you were. Or, um, I mean, we had those kimchi, obviously, if you ever, oh, want, yeah, man, the if you ever want any advice about how, like, food and shit, we are people. Kimchi's amazing noodle things. You pour a bit of water in, they're cool. I back that up. Yeah, they are, they were delicious. They were, like, fucking finger-licking good. Uh, not that you'd eat noodles with your fingers unless you like you were a hobo. Which hobos you get forks? Mind you, know they came with plastic forks. That's how good they were. Um, so yeah, my favourite moment. Prodigy were pretty fucking amazing. I was with Lydia and we walked. No, Prodigy it's when I the when end, I was so lost for like, four hours and I found you the first time. Jolt, because it'll probably mess. It. I know it's hard when we're in the car, but it's, uh... Uh, remember when I kind of like lost you for a couple of hours. And, yeah, uh, that, that was yeah, that was horrible because yeah. I was on my own for ages. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what is quite good at least. So the comedy tent. The first time I went to it. Yes. And that was surprisingly good. Stephen Camos was there. He was hilarious. Um, also, they did the Rufus uh, was there. Underground Rebel Bingo, and somebody won like ridiculous prizes, like an Xbox. I was like, what? And it was all free as well. Because um, I'm a student now. Students have no morals. Time check. Time check. Uh, nine, eight minutes. Eight minutes, right. Well, so we'll I'm going to clitch you all now. Um, not yet, not yet. We can still have a, another minute because we love you. Can We're almost at Cadas now and then we'll... <coughs> if you click the next video, um, and if you're not on my channel, I'll put the link in the description of the next video. Um, Elliot with, will be sucking off a horse. Yeah, or just doing some shisha and we'll be doing smoke rings and stuff. And we'll probably be looked at by everybody else thinking that we're a bit weird. That's just wrong because I can see you still. Um, that man liked it though. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's what we'll do and we'll see you soon. So, L, if you do the honours and eclipse the video, anything else you want to say? Um, uh, keep it real and... Uh, Pretty much. Is this the Chinese part of Leeds? Yeah, this There's is a Chinatown. lot of Chinese bits here. All right, let's not come off as you know. Super so. Oh my God! That's where your mum works. Eclipse the bitch. Bye. That's it. There.